Hey, hey, what's going on? This is your girl, Sister's Intuition. My name is Shelly. Thank you all for clicking on my video. We're going to be doing a general collective message for everybody. So this is general. It won't resonate with each and every one of you. So take what parts resonates, baby, and leave out what don't. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. What is the message for this group? What's the message for this group? Got Taurus and Cancer. So, it's letting you know uh, that you and your loved ones are safe. But there is some type of prosperity that lies ahead. So, you do have prosperity that's coming and you and your family are safe. So, you don't have to worry about that. So, if you've been worried about like financial problems because that's prosperity and abundance, don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. It's coming. It's the message for this group. So it says that you're unlimited. So you need to trust yourself and have confidence that you can get out here and you can create anything that you want to. It's a message for this group. And that has to do with your prosperity here, okay. So right now you're needing to listen and connect to your intuition because spirit is trying to give you some type of guidance um, on you know what you're doing. But uh, they're, you know, they're telling you to trust in your new path that's going to work out for you. And it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to move on and go with the flow of the universe and see what happens because it says you're here for a purpose. Spirit has you here for a purpose. You know, we all have one to fulfill, but this is about you learning and realizing what matters. And on the bottom, it says the way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. So spirits want you to step into that divine power, masculine or feminine, and know that you're here for a reason and that prosperity does lie ahead. If you've been trying to get it and get it and get it all your life and it's like you feel like you've had roadblocks, you are unlimited. You can create it. You just got to believe it and know that you uh, that you can get there. But you got to go with the flow of the universe. So you've got to go with spirit. You know, 211 when I said that. You may need to look up the angel number 211. But you need to listen and connect to your intuition because this is how you're going to be able to tell which way um, they're asking you to go. What's the message for this group? I know that he knows I'm unfaithful and it kills. Okay, what's the message for this group? So, yeah, you're going to see some growth right now. Spiritual growth. You could have a secret admirer. You could have somebody who's really admiring you right now. But you're being protected by this individual. Okay, so you're being protected from this individual. Um... But yeah, you do have a secret admirer. What's the message for this group? Dealings, a relationship with a woman. Okay, here we go with this. So when it comes to your love life, you've had somebody that could have went and had uh, messed around with a close friend. Um, but this was to wake you up. This was to push you into that awakening. Um, you got family matters going on, yes. But this is you... You're starting to understand. This is about your awakening, you developing, about you stepping into your purpose. 222, two, two. Well, it was 322, two, two. never mind, but anyhow, yeah, this, you, you're, you're awakening, right, and this is, you paying attention to the spirit, it's time to get out of this situation, it's a message for this group, savings, yeah, you need to um, save your money, you're ready for this, I see gain, yeah, you have some type of gain definitely coming, um, you know, you have stability, it's, uh, yeah, your stability is going to be okay, so know that, but yeah, just uh, make sure that you're, saving your money and if you're spending it you're spending it for a reason but yeah you're going through a challenge baby but look you're going to overcome it you're going to persevere there'll be some type of resolution what's the message you got good news yeah okay here's the thing you've been in this okay when it comes to your family you've been in this uh of this third wheel. There's been too many people in this relationship to where there's been flirtation going on. There's people you don't trust and you've got friends as a fucking enemy now, okay? But you do have good news. There's a miracle, some form of encouragement because right now you feel like you need some type of help. You're sad. You know, I need that help. I need that assistance. Maybe it's some type of charity. Maybe a church or something helping you. Somebody to show you some type of act of kindness. But you're ready. This is you saying, we're saying you're ready. Get ready for this. You know, this could be an arrangement, or you're making preparations. You need to make preparations. But yeah, you're making preparations. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's de definitely what you need to do. Some preparations. It's a message for this group. Yeah, you've been dealing with somebody that's always partying, and you've had that cock blocking going on. There goes that friend. Um, but yeah. I hate being on a timer here. Wish they'd let you do your videos longer. What's the message for this group? Yeah, Spirit is saying it's time for you to get out here and be happily single, baby. Do you. Be stress free from the dating world and, you know, focus on your setting goals and being career focused. And that's what you need to do. Yeah, it's time to move on and let it go, baby. Move on and let it go, Spirit is saying. This has been an off and on again. It's cold. It's hot. This is a karmic lesson, okay? There could be somebody trying to come back in and have some type of reconciliation. Well, you have spirit saying no. It is time to close this cycle because at the end of the day, you're not happy. You are not happy, baby. This is time for your awakening. You are waking up. You are discovering the truth. You are aware. You bumping heads with this individual. You're not seeing eye to eye. But uh, at the same time, you guys take some charge here. What's the message for this group? You gotta take charge of your happiness. The star, Aquarius. The five of cups. The devil, Capricorn. Five of swords. Yeah, a bunch of fives. You can be saying five, five, five. But look, the stars here. And you've been praying. You've been praying. The spirit hears you. And they said, trust, have faith, and believe. The five of cups. Yes, you are sad. Yes, somebody betrayed you. Yes, you're feeling lonely. But the devil is here. This could be somebody that has some type of addiction, whether it's substance, whether it's sexual, it doesn't matter, but it's temptation, right? The five of swords, the spirit is saying, you know, you not a wand. You had somebody that got, gave in to lust, right? They've done something, you know, they've done something impulsive. They give in to that lust, but the five of swords is there's deception. You're feeling defeated. What more can I do in this situation? There's conflict. The spirit is saying, walk away, walk away because you're sabotaging yourself and be self-assured. You're very vibrant. Three of Pentacles. Come up with a plan. Go set these goals. Nine of Pentacles to the ten to the, nine of Pentacles is about relying on yourself, being disciplined. You know, be self-assured because you've got this new beginning. This is you need to close out this cycle. Page of Swords. Um, yeah, Justice Libra energy. So yeah, maybe you're needing to go through the Justice system. The Page of Swords could be some type of written messages that you found, but nonetheless, Spirit is saying, yes, you're tired, but don't give up. Don't give up. Be action and goal oriented. Have faith in yourself. Don't give up. You can do this. Go after it. You know, they know you're tired, but justice is here. This is life lessons. It's life cycles. If you're going through legal stuff, you know, you're winning. You're successful. But you have fear of moving on. There's fear of moving on. The Page of Cups is here. King of Swords. Oh, King of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So here's the thing. I'm dropping cards everywhere down. Uh, the King of Swords in the reverse is somebody's thinking about their damn self. Okay, vengeful. Ace of Pentacles. Baby, you you got to have strength. Strength card, Leo. This is about you having strength and courage to go towards a new foundation. One that you can build with that prosperity because you're unlimited. You can do anything you want, just believe. But you can have that solid foundation. You can have one of trust because you are the magician. You know, you can get out here and manifest it, but right now you're confused. You're going through a lot of mental conflict, and you feel like you're powerless. And you feel trapped, and you feel like you don't have an option, but you do. you got to take back your power. And, you you know, you are you are the one holding yourself back, you. Do not make yourself a victim of your situation. You stand up, stand your ground, and protect yourself. Yes, you're going to go through challenges, babe, but as long as you put forth the effort, you will get through it. We all will. Believe me, we all will. Let's see here. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, here's the thing. You keep accepting this. I'm just going to accept this as it is. But the Four of Cups, baby, you're stagnant and you're missing opportunities. And the Seven of Pentacles, Spirit, won't you think about the long term? What do you want your investments in? Security. You know, because this is time for you to go through an ascension. This could be dealing with a twin flame energy. And you've been going through a hard time. And you've been lacking stuff. You know, so Spirit is saying, think about the long term. What do you want to have? Where do you want to be? But you are supposed to be growing. This is about your growth. This is about your happiness. The big picture, what is it that you want to have? Think about it. But Spirit is saying, make a decision. Don't give up and believe in yourself. Stop missing opportunities. Get out of that victim mentality and get up and take charge. I got to go. It's almost 10 minutes. But thank you all, and I hope it helps. See you all next time. Love each and every one of you. Bye.